Another day at Motrome HQ. Ready for it. What's that doing there? Hang on a minute. Can't park it there. People just park Motromes anywhere. So we've got the vans all set up. They're all looking nice there. Whoa! What's that? It's a caravan. How's that got there? Can't have caravans. We're the motorhome. We need to put up a stop to this. Hang on. Mark, Mark, I've got a caravan for you. It needs to come off. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you get a chance, if you can come down. Um, it's a nice caravan. It's a beautiful caravan. It's probably the best caravan you'll ever have on your pitch, to be perfectly honest with you, Mark. Oh, right, well. well uh, see you back. Excellent. Ah! Oh, you got a caravan? I've got a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> we're not very good actors, are we? No, nah, we're rubbish. <laughs> so what's this caravan? I've got a motorhome. <laughs> Why have you got a motorhome? Well, I've had a bit of an issue. Not an issue, but I thought, well, I need to get the cam belt done. I bought this caravan and I found that it got a steering wheel and it got an engine. We don't do steering wheels and engines normally. I don't know. I thought it was a bit strange when they said it had got four wheels, I just thought they meant it, got, it was a twin axle. But then I found out at the front, as I say, steering wheel, engine. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. So you want my help? I wouldn't call it help. I wouldn't say it was help. I just, I, I just thought if I was going to take it anywhere, I'd, I'd rather give you the money. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. No, not, no, no, you want help. to give me a little amount of money. Uh, well, yeah, that's true, that's true. So, I've got a part exchange for a caravan that's just come in. Ooh. Mark's turned up and he wants my help. So I think the bargaining power is quite good. Uh, for who? For me. You, you're the one stuck with the caravan that you can't sell. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at this caravan. <laughs> come on. So we've got a 2021 Spry, Swift, actually. Um, really, really good service history. Um, it's coming as a motorhome. Uh, the customers are now actually seeing sense. They're coming in as a motorhome. Um, so they've traded the caravan in, and Mark always have all, all our caravans off us. So we explained to him everything what he says. It's got cracking service history. It's been You've just seen the pack, mate, haven't it you? It does look lovely. Yeah, it looks a nice playing van as well. So, um... so let's the caravan place take over the motorhome man, or the motorhome man take over the caravan place, and let's have a quick look around this caravan. But because we're a motorhome channel, we don't want to bore you too much, but let's go. So, yeah, six berth, uh, cracking family van. They put a reflector on to cover a dent. Um, no, they haven't. Yes, that's a, that's definitely a dent under there, I would have said. It's got a motor mover though, so it's 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 sort of outweighing the uh, the minuses. But the motor over doesn't need a cam belt change. Well, true, true, true. Uh, bike rack on the back. Uh, this is badged up as a, a Vogue, so it was a spinny special, so basically it's a standard model, but it had just got a few little different bits and bobs that we'll have a look at inside in a minute. So that means it's worth more money than the standard one? Not when I'm buying it, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they were slightly more expensive yeah. uh, than a standard model. Uh, the couple of things that they had extra to the standard model is you've got ATC, so it's got a braking system on the, on the chassis basically. How does that work? So when you hitch your electrics up into the back of the car, yeah. If you've got all 13 pins wired, yeah. it's going to basically feel any sway and then put the brakes on for you and stop it from, from swaying and manoeuvring around. Um, the other extras that they put on was an external barbecue point. So this barbecue point here. We've got this locker here so you can get underneath of the front seats for extra storage. And then we've even got an external 230 volt socket. So power out into your awning. Um, that you can put up on there as well. That then is, is pretty much everything on the outside that was different to a standard model. The graphics... It's a good looking van. It looks very nice, yeah. Nice graphics, um, aren't they? They were sort of a browny colour on the on the standard one, so the graphics do look nice. Uh, little scratches on the window, hopefully they'll polish out uh, without too much issue. There you go. Done. Don't hit door stop. Do you have a look inside and yeah, see? Yeah, have a look inside. I'll going. tell you what, I'm going to pour text Kevin as well while we're at it. <laughs> but even I want to buy the caravan now. 
So we're going to have to be careful because have we got a leg down? Yes, we've we have got, got a leg, leg down. down. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that this has got is a solar panel on the roof as well. So hopefully this is keeping our battery nice and okay, fresh. Okay, let's have a look then. So just before we carry on, um, we're doing this video with Mark on basically just having a ramble, but we're both filming it for both channels. So our video will be completely different to Mark's video. So it's well worth checking out the caravan place and have a look at their video because it's going to be different because we're filming with both cameras. And again, you... our video is going to go onto our channel, but we're going to push Jason's video because again, his video is going to be completely different to our video. So on your video, like and subscribe us, not him. And on our video, like and subscribe us, not him, but you can give him a like. Shouldn't it be the other way around? I don't know. Yeah. So the motorhome man, if you look, which is hence why we bought the motorhome to the motorhome man. Swift command, typical on motorhomes and caravans. Yes, but only up until about 2020, and then obviously we hit that COVID crisis, and that disappeared from a lot of the caravans. Most of the Swifts stopped using that panel um, and swapped on to the different one. There you go, you get the lights on Mark. Now inside, as I mentioned, we've got the nicer upholstery. Um, so it was more just of a cream sort of colour, the standard upholstery on the on the standard ones in this. What's that down um, there? Got an alarm system. So they've got an alarm as well. And they've even got a phone that rings as well. Um, so yeah, you've got your alarm system at the front. You've got two 30 volt sockets, USB sockets. Um, a little slidey out table that folds back and we've got a TV area as well so you can put the TV up the front here. Some people... Nice looking front. It is, yeah. Uh, again, very sort of standard uh, front to be fair across a lot of the Swifts and it doesn't really matter what model it is, they tended to use this one through most of them. Uh, which is why I like the Sprites to be fair is that they were they were a more of a budget range, yeah. but they'd still got all the same build quality, all it's the same clean. finishes. It's it's really really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I do I do like the sport range a lot. Um, nice big wardrobe as well. We've got the freestanding table and I've got the ladder in there. And then have a look in that washroom. Uh, it might surprise you. I'm having a look. I'm having a look. I'm so excited. I might keep it. Now that's quite impressive actually, good, good size that's a washroom, great washroom. Um, so you've yeah. got a separate shower and toilet in there. Yeah, it's a good size as well to get changed. Yeah. And then also you've got your shower as well. Um, nice tap. Yeah. I like my tap there. And then moving on to the back here, Mark, we've got the bunks. And will this make up into another sleeping area? It will, so you've got another bunk bed on the side there, um, so it'll sleep six in this one. 11 stone the maximum weight on those, so those top bunks unfortunately you're not going to be able to go into. Ooh. So, uh, so we've got two bunks, we've got a sleeping area there, yeah. and we've got another one that will make up a bunk. There. So that's yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six berths. Two at the front, yeah. yeah. It's spacious isn't it? Yeah, 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 good size one. Good so size. the market for this van, would it be more of a sighted van? No, it's going to be a lot of people sort of um, touring around with this. It's it's more of a family van. They do this on a, a, a twin axle size version, which again is probably yeah. more aimed towards the the sighted version. What's the weight? Um, it's a but these have gone up in weight. They used to be uh, a really lightweight van, and I'll show you what has changed to make them not as lightweight as they are now. Um, we need to pop outside. Oh, okay. So they used to be well, well under um, 1500 kilos these now, but we're 1550. Um, so it's quite, it's not a lightweight van anymore. Um, right. I was surprised on these a couple of years ago that the weight had gone up. Can we just have a quick explanation here? Because um, us Motorhome's a little bit ignorant to all this. I'll take you, that's the model spinny. Uh, VIN number is a little bit like your registration or your chassis, chassis number. number. Yeah. Maximum. Uh, so MRO is your uh, maximum. What's MRO? Fantastic. Minimum. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let me let me Google this. <laughs> Don't cut this out. <laughs> 
forgot what it was. You've put me on the spot. So max uh, MTP element is maximum total permissible laden mass. Yeah, I knew that really, but I was just and letting MRO. Up. Because a long time ago I did used to do caravans, hence the name caravans in campers. And then obviously as we built up we moved them all onto the motorhome side. So I just had enough of pulling them around. I'm just waffling on here because obviously Mark hasn't done his research like how well prepared me and Kevin normally are, the extensive research that we do do. To come back to well. me. To come back so, to me, thanks Google. Anyway, we'll move on now. To come and back. let the professional carry on, shall we? Massive running order. Yeah. Massive running order. So MRO, massive. So just in case order. you do cut this video, shall we start again? Anyway, we've explained the spinny major. So what's MRO? So ma I forgot again. <laughs> <laughs> Mass in running order. And what actually uh, does that mean in layman's terms? So basically what the caravan weight is, as it stands here now... That's its weight, 1374. Yeah. Maximum is 1550. Yeah, so, so if we take that away from that... That gives us our payload of roughly uh, 120 odd kilos. 126. So um, for a six berth family van, yeah. um, if you sort of consider that if you're going on a holiday abroad, you'd have about 30 kilos, wouldn't you? Um, so yeah, if you're going abroad, a sort of 30 kilos each. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're not all going to take that much, but yeah, I think it still gives you a good payload. But these used to be well under 1500 kilos. Right. And the reason that they used to be under 1500 kilos is because of front panels and back panels. They used to be plastic, and um, so they used to use the plastic panel like that. What are you trying to say? They had massive issues uh, with cracking Man, and causing crap. damp. I've not got a ladder to have a look. I'm doing um, the same thing because that's sold. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why on the caravans they, they were cracking so badly, um, but they were. So they've, they've swapped over to a, a GRP fiberglass front and rear panel, okay. which just added the, the extra weight, weight on yeah. there. But I think it, it was well worth putting that extra weight on there to stop the issues that they were having. So in a nutshell, it's a family van. Family van, and because it's a better built family van than they used to be. A good family van for sighted, and also we are we are within the weights, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, for it. So you think this is a good van? A really good family van. There we go, very, so that means the price of the Partex is going up. Now, let's see, because there's always an alternative method behind Kevin. No, that's not Kevin. That's Mark. <laughs> It's been a long morning. It has been a long morning. <laughs> Let's see why he's here. Why are you? So, motorhome. Motorhome. Uh, now, your normal cab, um, sort of engine, gearbox and what have you, on a, on a motorhome, say this, this front one here, Yeah. Um, you're going to have a cam belt that's going to be needing changed, possibly. Yes. Now, on an A-class, it's completely different. If you have a look at the front of that one, compared to that, to do the cam belt on that is completely different to the cam belt on that. That is going to be the sort of typical van. Yes. So majority of the garages that are out there are going to be used to doing a cam belt on that. We can see where he's going with this folks, can't we? You turn up with a big A-class like that and your typical garage... No, 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 no. ...isn't really going to be prepared no. uh, to do it. So. The Pilotti uh, that we've got, that we've brought over to you, that looks absolutely stunning. Look it's a good looking thing. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice, nice thing. motor. Thing. Now, this is where these caravan dealers get themselves stuck, right? First impressions I see here is you can just change the look of a motor, very simple, put a new LPG sticker on, just brings it up. It does make all the difference, doesn't it? It makes a massive difference. Yeah. Yeah. And it's bugging me because I'm going to have to do that in a bit. Um, Nice A-class. What is it? 2014? 2014. Yeah. Uh, 23,000 miles. So it's it's not done anything really. And again, some people would argue 23,000 miles. It doesn't need the cam belt doing. Why are you doing the cam belt? Why are we doing it the cam belt? It should be done every five years. Every yeah. five years a cam belt should be done. Now the problem Mark's got with this is most garages haven't got the ramps to get on it, to get at it, basically. And if you hadn't got the ramps, you'd probably be dropping the engine. Very possible. Which yeah, is a lot of money and a lot of wasted yeah. time and effort where we have got the ramps. Oh, we've got the ramps. Oh, have you got the ramps? Yeah, we've got the ramps. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's convenient. <laughs> uh, 
So Wolks brought his uh, motor home. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take it round. We're going to get it serviced for him. We're going to get it MOT'd for him. We're going to uh, put a new cam belt on it. So have you sold this? Yes. Yeah, so this is ready for the customer. Out, so. Let's have a quick look inside. This is going to impress you, this is. We, we originally bought this and um, <laughs> the upholstery was uh, poor, to say the least. Um, have a have a look and see what you think of this upholstery now in here. Typical, typical A-class layout. Yes. Land you've done a good front. job of the upholstery. You've it's, matched it really well. It's beautiful. Yeah, you've yeah. got the contrast with the, the cupboards. I do like... Was that like that it before? It was, yes. All yeah. the stitching and everything was the same. It was just a slightly, slightly uh, different brown. This is a more modern brown than the brown that was in there previously. Uh, but it's... It's, it's really brought them out home up. Okay, um, you caravanners, one tip that I probably never give you, never drive along in your caravan or your motorhome with these clothes because they've got little air vents in, the air gets in and they start to stretch out. So if you can, leave them closed like that. Look, he's got them all open and all closed. I've just done that, so you've got a little there. tip on a video. So your typical A class, we're getting the drop down bed, we're getting the uh, kitchen area, never a big kitchen area on the A class, lovely, that's a nice size fridge. Shown how good. Now, see how properly. professionally do it. Is that six metres? Six metres, yeah. 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 It's, it's not a massive motorhome, but it fills room inside, doesn't it? And there's a great wash area. If you just want to come forward and have a look at the wash area, so as you can see, we've got the toilet, we've got the separate shower. And nice again, I do like, I've always liked, you know, what's he doing now, he's broken. it. What's it, that one? Go on, you carry on. No, it's more fun watching you getting your head around a motor home. It's all right, just taking a seat. So what I do like about the end washrooms is it's a good place to get changed. You've got, you've got the space here. Nice area. I do like the panelling on that as well. Um, anything else you want to add to this, Mark? Uh, no, I think you've cracked it, to be fair. Uh, he is missing a skylight up the yeah, top. Yeah, we've got the, uh, the old one. is out at the minute. It was a little bit dirty, so we're just uh, retentioning that. I think the previous owners must have... Was the, fly, was the fly net dirty? Yeah. Yeah, so what do we use then? Yeah. We use uh, mold uh, remover, don't we? Oh, yeah. Nice, simple spray with a load of mold remover. Get a, get a, a mildew, mildew, whatever it's called. Mildew, mildew. Mildew. Yeah, and then just give it a good spray, get a sponge, and then just sponge it and then rinse it down again. Leave it outside to dry on a nice day like this, and it'll come up as good as gold. If it's really, really bad, you can get the fly screen net in where you can just cut it and then glue it on, and it just makes such a difference, to be honest with you. Uh, and again, you know, it, 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 I think the previous owners obviously travelled with them closed, um, like I'd set all these up when we came in, and that again has just took the tension out of them, so we've had to re-tension the, the blind in the bathroom. Uh, it's a cracking layout, isn't it? Cracking seating area at the front. The, the driver's seat obviously spins round as well. Um, so we've, there is, because it has got the four travelling seat belts in this. Um, so just at the back of there, there is the extra seat belts. So this will make up into a bed as well? Yes. So, yeah, this will make into a bed. How does that Even work? though, so you drop the table down. Could you show uh, us? I can, I can, I can Ooh. definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely try. So, I'm going to spin that one back around. I'm going to move my stuff. I'm going to have to move all the cushions. You know my big bugbear about no times? And I'm not playing for time. <laughs> the beds, and I've seen your TikTok videos. I'm going to plug your TikTok videos to it. I've never seen anything so disastrous as, as a motorhome bed. <laughs> oh, come on. Imagine you come back, right? You just you just want to get to sleep. Where's the bottom for it? I don't know. You're the motor home expert. Let, let me just turn my chair around and uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me just get comfy. He's found it.
Is that locked out? So, as you can see, the bed comes over like so. And then it's quite simple, you just put the cushions across and then it makes up the bed. <laughs> really simple. Simple. And, and simple. pretty much every motor home is like that, isn't it? No, not really. Pretty They're much, just the ones oh, that you bring in. Well, to be fair, actually, some some that I've seen are a little bit a little bit worse than that. What uh, we will do, we'll probably do a bed makeup in this video because it has dragged on a little bit longer, so I'll get out of that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if you enjoyed the videos, like and subscribe to both channels. Um, anyway, what price have we done on this? What are we doing on this cam belt? Uh, I think it said 250 quid. I think. <laughs> we haven't discussed prices. I thought what I'd do is let you do all the work, and then I'll try it off quickly. Do after. <laughs> yeah. And you do your time for watching. Right. Anyway, while Jason tries to sort this bed out. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, oh, hit the like it. button. Oh look at that! Look at that. It took a half an hour. Have we got enough video footage time left? Look at that! There you go. Easy. Uh, and again, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button for the Motorhome man. Go over to his channel and have a look at his video. I'm going to have a look at the caravan place. We'll see you in the next one.